this 20 meters uh, roof is kind of like a sort of a modern, yeah, I would say church with all these kind of light, these colored see-through um, panels. So you really feel like sort of all these colors are dancing in the, in the, in the thing in the middle of the desert. My name is uh, Marian Nagel and I'm a, a solar designer based in Amsterdam. And I'm basically yeah, I'm rethinking how to, how do we perceive solar energy differently and how to integrate it better into daily envi environments. Solar panels, they're, uh, they, they are blue and they're uh, mostly rectangular. There's a reason because uh, blue absorbs the most light, so they are the most efficient. And it's been mostly uh, perceived as a technology and it was very expensive. So that's why they had to like focus very much on efficiency. And that's why that's how they uh, look like the way they look. But luckily, like solar energy is now one of the, the cheapest sources of energy uh, in a lot of countries. So the, the focus shifted quite a lot from uh, yeah, this efficiency to like, okay, how do we actually want to live with solar energy? The solar roof we designed for the Netherlands Pavilion in Dubai for the World Expo. And um, that World Expo is basically a, a temporary exhibition for six months and it's in the middle of the desert. So the architects of the Netherlands Pavilion really designed it from like a really circular point of view. So after six months, everything needs to be, um, yeah, uh, sort of like demolish and go back to it's like where it came from so there's nothing left uh, i had the idea of like making a stained glass uh, roof there but then at the same time like shipping a very heavy glass from europe to uh, dubai isn't super sustainable so we really had to rethink how how are we going to do this and then we uh, stumbled upon these like organic photovoltaics opv which are uh, made of completely different materials they're flexible, they're super lightweight, so it's super easy to ship them. Um, they're made, yeah, they're kind of like printed on to PET, so um, their sort of uh, payback time of, uh, is, of energy is super short and uh, was like a, yeah, uh, something I, I never worked with before, but like really amazing and um, really thought like, okay, after six months, how can you, how can we uh, uh, sort of bring that back and uh, ship them and uh, give them to another location? So it really, uh, solar cell made circular, which hasn't been done before very often in solar cells. They made of uh, three colors, blue, orange, and uh, red. And uh, so it's like a pattern that's kind of like uh, made with a moiré effect. So you really can visualize okay, the, that, that um, colors are kind of interfering with each other. So they give super nice shadows onto the, the, the building. There's like a sort of big cone in the pavilion uh, with a lot of plants and they really sort of like leave the right light spectrum through for the plants as well. So it's not only they give power to the pavilion, but also really working as a uh, biotope. I think this happens very often that a designer comes in too late. It's like, oh, and especially with uh, renewable energy, it's like we need, the transition needs to go very fast because we're already too late and time is really ticking. And uh, so that's why it's like, okay, we need to uh, yeah, change as quickly as we can. But then at the same time, so we're really ruining our landscapes if we have these big solar fields. If I just like drive through here in the Netherlands or somewhere in Europe, and you see all these like beautiful old houses and stuff and they have like these panels. It's like kind of like a pain in the eye for me that they are so badly integrated. And especially here in this, uh, live in the center here in Amsterdam, uh, the sort of regular solar cells are not basically not allowed because most of the buildings are monuments. So it's like, it will sort of kind of like disturb sort of the way the city looks. So then we have to be, one, change the, 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 the rules or the way they look. and. I kind of like see the business like um, like how a, a technology evolves. For example, our clothing or something that's also a technology, and it's uh, it's but it also becomes part of our identity. It's part of our culture and stuff. But it really has like a sort of it's it's so much more than just a thing that keeps us warm. It's yeah, it really says something about ourselves, who we want to be, and I think that is like the next step that will hopefully will happen with solar energy as well. It's really something that we have that we uh, feel a bit closer uh, with and that uh, you want to be surrounded with and that it needs also kind of like you want to relate to it so it needs to sort of appeal to your aesthetics as well.